Scarves a golden day for Ferrari at Silverstone. And if nothing else, it just continued to underline the versatility of the 71H, how good a car that is in all conditions. It's certainly been you know, the most consistent car uh, throughout the season. And uh, lots of updates to the car through the year, especially over the past few races. And you know, we'll kick off with the, uh, the front wing. Normally when we talk about a change to a front wing, you're talking about a new version that's replacing an old one. But Ferrari, the change here is very much a case of they've got two in their uh, armory now. So the main change is when the car was launched, at this very narrow slot in the front wing end plate, which is used to sort of drive the Y250 Vortex. Recently, they've extended that slot for the full width of the front wing. And again, this is just about how the wing works. It's not about more downforce, less downforce. It's much more about how it works with different ride heights, different roll and pitch angle, stuff like that. And the team switched between the two of them. And that would have been particularly useful at Silverstone, where, mm -hmm. as we know from Mario, they were playing around with ride heights because of the bumps, the unexpected bumps. Exactly, mm -hmm. so it just you know, broadens Very the window good. of which they yeah. can run that car in. Mm -hmm. But the most important change that they had is really to the floor. So if we now wind now on and have a look at the floor, and this has been an area where we've been talking more and more about over the, uh, the past few years since they widened the cars and since the regulations on how they can create slots in the edge of the floor have changed. Ferrari have run a fairly simple floor um, between the, the front of the side pods and the rear wheels for much of the year. They then added some slots and then for Silverstone, you've now got these four slots running around the edge of the floor. And what these are doing, these are actually working with, you know, we're always talking about outwash around the front wheels and talking about the front tire wake. These aren't about getting the floor to work per se, but the air that's separating around right. the car goes into these slots, spins up into a vortex. Obviously the more slots and the more brakes you've got in them, the yeah. more it pulls that vortex up. And again, that's just pushing the tire wake away from going under and over the floor and messing up the diffuser performance. And in, you know, every team now is using this area far more aggressively. So it's all about outwash. And then as we've seen you know, for many, many years, the slots just in front of the tire are there just to bring a bit of inwash in between the wheel and the diffuser just to keep that seal working there. So again, yeah, it helps keep the car very consistent, particularly you know, through crosswinds, through corners, just making sure that the tire wake isn't ruining the car.